What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel where I help you out in Fallout 4. In this video I will be showing you how to get the Gus Rifle early. This is the Gus Rifle by the way. You basically charge a shot by holding the trigger and then release it to fire. It does tons of damage. All you really need to know is that a fully charged shot can kill basically anything in the game on the hardest difficulty in one shot. Like this super mutant behemoth. One shot on the hardest difficulty. And that's all that matters, right? It only takes a couple of seconds to charge too. But then you cannot charge it and it's still packed quite a punch. It's kind of a bit broken if I'm honest, but it also makes it great in all situations. Unless dog meat is in the way, nothing can help you with that. To get this weapon you must come here to the pride whip. It's located here on the map. There are several ways that you can gain access to this giant blimp. I will leave a guide on the easy way on how to do that in the description if you're new. But once you are here, just head inside the blimp. When it comes to keeping the Pridwin running, Proctor. Now go up the stairs and head straight on towards the armory. It's at the other end of the ship. I'm going to be showing you a little trick on how you Attention. can get inside the armory. The In theory you can do this at level 1 with no perks. Just make sure that you have no weapons equipped and just your fists out. All you need to do now is come up to the armory, look at the shopkeeper and open up VATS. Once you are in VATS, just aim to attack the shopkeeper. So highlight any part of his body you can see, and then just press accept so that your character will actually go to attack him. But as soon as you do accept and your character moves to attack him, press the cancel button to stop yourself actually hitting him. Now I probably made that sound really complex but it's Those not. Make sure you save trouble. first if you're not sure so you can you try it a couple of times, but it's actually really really easy. Maybe now later. what actually I happened is we teleported inside the armory but we haven't hit anybody, so we're still safe. If you like helpful tips like this make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now a lot of people don't know about this but please make sure you don't steal anything while you're inside the actual armory, because if you do the Brotherhood will know, even if they can't see you, and they will get major butt hurt and try to kill you. So instead, to get around this, what we're going to do is hold down the action button to pick up an item, and then you'll actually hold it in your hand. And now we're gonna go back to the counter, and we're gonna throw it outside the armory, or just put it on the desk at least. Do this with everything that you want to steal. So obviously we're gonna take the Gus rifle, because that's what we came in here for. Um, this is also the only place that you can get the best power armor helmet in the game early too. It's called the X01. So um, literally grab everything, probably the whole contents of the armory, and put it on this desk. And now what we're going to do is, I probably should have said earlier, but it's much easier if you bring a companion with you. But um, if you haven't got a companion, don't worry, you can just wait for someone to walk past outside of the armory. You can just activate him in that, again with your fists equipped and then you'll go to punch him and do the exact same thing that you did to get inside. So now we're outside again, we're going to take whatever we want to steal off the counter, and we're going to run down here to where no one can see us. I usually come down here just because even if you've got no sneak skill whatsoever, no one will be able to see you down here. So just take the Gus rifle down here and you can steal it pretty safely and nobody will care at all even though you've just stolen everything from the armory. And you can just go back and do that for everything you took. Please do like the video if it did help you out because doing so supports the channel a lot. I have also left some other useful guides with interesting tips in the video description that you might want to check out if you enjoyed the video. 
Thanks again for watching and subscribing. My name is ESO and I will see you, loyal subscribers, in the next Fallout 4 video guide. Goodbye!